Girl, don't trust me, trust your money, cause that's how you're getting home. Told her stop calling my phone, hey. I told her stop calling my phone, hey. I told her stop calling my phone back. Then she didn't want me, now my name like Mike Jones. They claim that I'm a dog, but now all she want is bone. All she want is bone. All she want is bone. Percocets and boo pack, get her hired. The guy, you see me? Nah. I'm Jero Shots, man. I'm 21. I'm from Riverhead, Riverhead, New York. Worldwide Jado. Jado World, you know what I mean? I got mad names, but Jado the one that stuck the most, so that's what I rock with. Alright. Uh, how'd you get your name? Um, the Trap. My brothers, Jolo B and Tony Jack. Okay, so they just like were like, yo. Jado Shots. Does it relate to your, your, your real name at all? J. J. You know what right. I mean? J, that's it. Just the J part. I'm James. That's it. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Um, how long ago did you start rapping? Sheesh. I've been rapping since I was like 13. Like, like I would say I was really rapping since I was like 13, not recording this shit, but we was at the lunch table getting right. You know what I mean? That's where it all started, the lunch table. Um, what the, yo, what was my name on my team? I think it was like, Lyrical Homicide or some shit, man. That was, that was a team back then. 13 years old, Lyrical Homicides. Me and like, four other cats in my school. Okay, okay. And like when, besides like you rapping like in school, having fun, like ciphering, whatever, like when did you actually start taking it seriously? I say I was 18, 19, 19, I was 19 years old when I, either I was 19 or 20 when I got into Mastermind, and like, that's when everything with music changed, you feel what I mean, as far as like, shows and actually recording music, I was recording on my own, I was recording my own music in the basement, but um, Crank. Crank the man, man. Crank held it down. Crank made the music real right. You feel what I'm saying? He got me. He got me moving. <laughs> for real, for real. But I feel like even when you when you were working with um, with uh, K Dollars, K Dollars. I'm so bad. With Shout that. out my boy, man. Rest in peace to the homie. Rest in peace to the Big Four. K Money and all that. I feel like you were already semi taking it seriously. Like maybe the, the quality wasn't already there, but I feel like you already were on your. Like you were more than just rapping for fun, and like it was more yeah. you already trying. I mean, to it was serious. It was serious then, but it, I feel like I feel like Mastermind is what made me like a hundred and twenty five percent. Like this, is what I'm doing for the rest of my life. I ain't I ain't working for no company. I'm building. We building our own company. You feel what I'm saying? That's just been my dream right. since I was a youngin. But I started taking it serious last year, two years ago. Right, right. Um, like so. Obviously, I know it's like you've been rapping for a long time, but what what artists made you start wanting to rap? Like, was there someone that you looked up to? Like, oh shit, I want to be like that. Soldier Boy, word. Like, I don't know. A lot of people gonna look at Soldier Boy and be like, crank that Soldier Boy. But I was listening to like the mixtapes. The mixtape game was crazy. He was on like some Gucci shit. Gucci too. Feel me? Gucci made Gucci made me want to like drop a mixtape every month. Drop an EP every month, something, at least get him five songs every month. You know what I mean? I, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. I, it won't just the jewelry. It won't just like how they present themselves. It was the overall music that that made me like, yeah, those are the people that I'm going to strive to be like. Nice. And then like, uh, obviously like now it's... I know Soldier Boy still kind of has like that, that same style as Big Now, like that catchy marketable like image like yeah. what, what to you now is like really inspirational like music wise me <laughs> like i don't know i mean like i listen to mainstream music but i don't at the same time like i don't i don't really listen to them because i don't want my music to outcome like theirs but i listen to them to like Get a wave, you feel what I mean? Right. Okay. Um, like, 
when you're when you're trying to create when you're writing or when you're recording what like give me like an example of what you need in the studio like you want like certain food you need obviously maybe smoke you know certain kind I need of snacks cuz I get high so I need like sweet candy like some sweetest fish or some gummy worms and the studio got to be dark cuz I don't like light like this light making me look mad light you know what I mean <laughs> but I just I need my game I need I need I just need my people around like people that's really going to tell me seriously whether they like what they hear or not that's that's basically it as long as it's dark I got some of this I got back to popping zans and shit so that shit that should be making me feel like how I need to feel Everything else is just headphones and beats. I'm straight. <laughs> nice. So, like, you were talking about, like, you need people around you that, that aren't just yes men. Like, you want people yeah. that are to tell you, like, yo, this shit is whack or this is dope. I don't like yes men. So, like, let's say let's say you're you're making a song and, like, there's, uh, you know, let's say you're in the studio for, like, a weekend. And would you rather have that, ne not a negative atmosphere, but, like, if it's if the music is all whack, even though your music's dope... If, if it was just continuous, your friends like, yo, nah, this is not it. Like, would you be mad or, or like, nah, that's the way it should be? No. Nah. I mean, no matter what, it's, it's going to be things within the song that I'll probably fix. But overall, it's going to be the same song. Like, like I still release this song because I, I make music that I like. So if I like it, it's going to get released. But if, if, they're, if they're giving me points to the song, like, you should do this at this part. Like you should change your flow or you should anything, anything, know what I mean, anything my homies tell me, know what I mean, I take I take that I take that seriously. You know what I mean? I put that I put that in the back of my mind and I I fix I fix stuff up. I write verses in like 20, 15, 20 minutes, so it's no it's no problem to go back and fix it up. You know what I mean? Cool, cool. Um so you dropped a video like a month and a half ago, what, two months ago, maybe, uh, V Dub. Yeah. So, I don't even know what I'm gonna ask you that. Uh, how do you feel like, like with regards to like putting out visuals? Like you're trying to obviously continuously put out visuals, right? Yeah. Like that's your goal. I mean, um, we always recording and shooting. Like that's 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 part of the mastermind movement, especially with the artists that are like part of mastermind you feel what i mean we all we always in the studio we always behind or in front of a camera and it's like i probably got like six videos so far this year couple more that we are gonna release it's just it's always it's always work it's always work that needs to be done and it will be done in mastermind you feel what i'm saying now explain like a lot of people might not know this, but like you actually did like you had a creative input with um, with the VW video. So you did like the the uh, the drawing shit that yeah. was on there and some um, editing as well. So explain like how how it feels like to be an artist, but like where you could actually put in that creative aspect, which is not like your. That feel good, man. I mean, like that's 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 really because of my team. Like Crank let me put my creative my creative mindset into what I'm doing as well. So we we work together like as far as like making videos and my music too. You know what I mean? So when I like when I was doing that drawing, Brody was right there, like, yeah, that's fire. And I already knew, like but if I got somebody else that tell me it's fire off the rip, I know that it's gonna do what it gotta do. You know what I mean? Like, I got that drawing. I got that drawing thing from like Famous Dex. I seen it in the Famous Dex video. So we just went out and got a pad and started doing it. Oh yeah, it's coming out. Ew. <laughs> yeah, I feel like any any time like when when you can put like all the creative stuff into your own music and your own vision, like it's it's different because as as much as like for me, I know I'm, I want to help you, mm -hmm. but. Your passion to, to create your stuff is gonna make it that much more. You know what I'm saying? Like you're you care you're you're the sole person that's gonna care the most about you. Yeah. 
that's another reason why I really like I put my hands and feet into everything as far as like my music, the videos, how I dress, my hair, like I always I I always chose to stand out. You know what I mean? Like I can't be part of a crowd. I don't nobody in my crew is part of a crowd. You see them whether we together or miles apart and it's millions of people there, like you're gonna see me in a picture, you're gonna see Jolo, you're gonna see Cinderella, you feel what I'm saying? We stand outs, that's just how it is. We a family, we've been together for so long that it's like, we gotta stand out, we gotta show out, we gotta look, we gotta look proper, you know what I mean? <laughs> Because it's also like, you know, it's more about, more than just the music these days. So you gotta have that image. Like, that's that's what I noticed you guys bring to the table. Like, even with Cinderella, like, she has a unique style. Right? She's, you know, this funky young chick that, that has yeah. crazy sunglasses and shit like that. You too, like the hair. Yeah, I think that's important for you guys to get there. Like, I love my team, yo. I really love what, what we created so far. You know what I mean? Shout out to my gang, man, FGOE. You feel me? Love Cinderella, Jolo B, you know what I mean? Shout out Tony Jack. Rest in peace to Shmoney and all that. We here. Y'all know how that shit go. All right, so you're uh, you're dropping a uh, a new project soon, Zanny Phantom, right? Yeah. Cool. It's good? Man. I mean, we just we dropped the track yesterday of Zanny Phantom and shit. Make sure y'all go on SoundCloud and check that shit out. That booth pack. Zany Phantom crazy, man. Like, I I took a lot of time to, to build this project. I mean, a lot of time to me ain't really what everybody else sees is a lot of time. But I took, like, a solid two, three months to build the project. It's got about 13 tracks. We got skits. We got features. Everything, like, is going on that piff. Trying to get it on live mixtapes. I'm just trying to spread my wings, you know what I mean? I'm not, SoundCloud did a lot of good for me, but I feel like it's time to like spread my horizons, get a bigger fan base. So I feel like Zany Phantom gonna be the tape that's gonna, that's gonna give me that nice fan base that I need, that I want, I should say. Definitely, definitely. So real quick, like the, the new graphic designer you're working with, he's dope, right? What's his name? Uh, Jay, Jay Graphic Design, Unknown Artist. Okay, so I, I see, like, that's that's also important for you, like, having good graphic design is important to show your visuals, and, like, that's, you know, besides the video stuff and your image, like, it's important to, you know, show that as well. Yeah. So he's, I, I feel like he's... That's team, that's family as well, you feel what I mean, Jay? You know how you do, man, you know what I mean? Um, late, all of my latest graphics has been from Jay. You know what I mean? Um, he re he actually did some, he redid some of my cover art for some of my um for some of my EPs, Hustle Westbrook EP, that's on SoundCloud. He redid that cover art. He redid the cover art for the Prescript tape. Um, I got a feature on his website, um, NoNameFamous.com. I got the artist the artist spotlight. He he always hold me down. You know what I mean? It's always been a love is love connection. And I always appreciated that. It's not, it's like hard work, you know what I mean? Hard work pays off. Like, I can't say that nobody else don't work hard, but he reached out because he see what I'm doing. And he see that this is what I'm dedicated to. So, he part of the team too. He FGOE. Like, everybody FGOE. Crank FGOE. He mastermind FGOE, you know what I'm saying? Doozy. That's a, that's my other engineer, you know what I mean? Maddie as well, you know what I mean? He behind the camera also with Crank. So the team real the team the team move heavy. Just to say that. The team move real heavy, man. We real right. And we gonna go real far. Yeah. To the moon. To infinity and beyond. The answer is yes. Yeah, so you uh you briefly mentioned something about like how you you know, you had you put out some mixtapes and uh, EPs, like like you said, Zany Fan. Like you really want to take that to the next level. Like yeah. what's what's your goal? So first of all, when are you releasing that? Do you know yet? It's no exact release date. I never really do release dates, just because 
I don't want to let nobody down if I choose not to release it on that day. So I always say it's coming soon. Just, I feel like that coming soon, I sort of build it up to. It sort of bring more people in. I don't, I don't, I don't necessarily have a goal for the tape. I mean, my, my goal is to, my goal is to build myself. My goal is to connect with other people, not artist wise, but like, People within music, producers, um, club promoters, everything like I mean, anything, anything that could bring me to the next level with my music, more shows. You know what I mean? Like, it's not really. I don't know. I don't really got no goal. I don't really got no goal. I'm I'm happy with what I got. I'm not. I'm not like. I don't really know the word. I mean, I just popped his in. I'm a little lost right now, but I'm like, I'm just trying to grow. I just wanted to take, to make me grow. That shit ain't nothing more to it. It's just I want to grow. Yeah. I feel you. I mean, you definitely want to eventually like be doing stages at South by Southwest, shit like that, like bigger yeah. shit, right? Yeah. So get paid. You want to? I think one of your goals is definitely to get paid for shows, right? Like, yeah. Like, so um. They want me to do a show over at the Black Thorn 51 next month in November. All ages, too, so I might do that. You know what I mean? Because I know I could bring out some youngins now. I mean, they said they're going to pay me a couple of dollars. That's really, I'm just trying to get, I'm trying to get connected with the money. That's it. I don't, like, I put, we put money into us. So I feel like it's time for people to start putting money into us as well. You know what I'm saying? I feel like the talent speaks for itself. Um, all right, so this is just a random question I have for you. Like, if you had a choice of either rich or famous, what what's your what's your decision? Rich, fame can't take care of my family. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want, I don't really. In my eyes, I'm already famous. I just don't got the money really to back myself up. Everybody know me. You know what I mean? If you don't know me like your mom know me or your aunt or something, especially the females, females love me. So I just need some bread. Somebody got to give me some chicken. Send me that check. All right. Um, so I think we like briefly talked about like how hip hop's changed like with the image like it's more about like image now, and it's not as much about lyricism. Yeah, you being from New York, like there's a huge expectation for you to be lyrical, right? So how do you balance that out between being like a not a swag rapper, but like being like a kind of a you know catchy rapper and, and being lyrical? Like, like my dad be trying to hit me with some shit like that. I mean, like I'm from New York, and I gotta I gotta spit like like Nas or Biggie. Or one of them niggas. No disrespect to, you know what I mean, the legends and all that. But that's not me. You know what I mean? I feel like I feel like all music grow. You know what I mean? Everything everything gotta grow. So like even if y'all don't look at it as a growth, like music grew, you feel what I'm saying? Down south got the wave right now. And if y'all haven't realized, like all those down south artists hold it down, man. Period. A lot of people don't realize like the, what the real like Long Island is all about. Like it's definitely not like white picket fences and shit like that. Like explain a little. It bit ain't about sweet. That. Shit ain't sweet, especially like I don't know. People hear Long Island and think like the farm and shit. You know what I'm saying? It's hood. We still, we got hoods just like everywhere got hoods. Not I mean, don't get that shit like don't get that shit like slipped up. You know what I'm saying? We got mops and all that shit, nigga. I don't think that we just... Shit ain't sweet, man. You know what I'm saying? Nigga still doing crazy shit out Long Island, too, man. It ain't no different than nowhere else. I mean, we might not be the... We might not have the highest crime rate or nothing like that. You know what I mean? Y'all might think of us and y'all think Tanga. And, uh... You know what I mean? But we still do what it gotta do. It's still homies. It's still... It's everything, everything, everything out here, man. I mean, it's it's a lot of drugs, everything out here, man. Like, shit is not sweet.
You know what I mean? I wake up and it's crackheads all down my block. You feel what I mean? So, I mean, it ain't like that everywhere, but it's like that here. I'll tell you that. So, like, maybe uh, you grew up in a place called Millbrooks. Yeah. So I'm from the like, Brook. Any, any crazy stories you got? Shit, man. Shootouts. Fist fights. When I was little, me and my homie used to run up in cribs when people weren't there and steal their snacks. You know what I mean? Because we ain't really have it like that. You know what I'm saying? So... If that window, if that window was cracked, we was in there, man. I mean, we was getting what we needed to get, make sure that we was eating for the day. You feel what I'm saying? Shout out, shout out, my boy. He know, he know what that, he know what that's him for. <laughs> I'm through the window, opening the front door for my big man's, cause he damn sure wasn't jumping through the window. I mean, that way, way back when. Talk about like the like your preference with chicks, like like I mean, you want the ladies. Um, I like booties and boobies. I mean, I don't really care about the color or nothing like that. Um, you gotta be cute in the face. I mean, at least like a set, at least like a seven in the face. And then we straight. You know what I mean? We good. You gotta have a good time with me. I ain't really. I'm worried about this bread. I ain't really worried about no bird. Oh. <laughs> um. All right. So I like maybe like, let's touch up on uh, like your team, like the FGOE team. So you who name the members and then like name each member and give it like a brief like background on them or what they're working on. Just you know. Um. I'm gonna start with the princess. We got Cinderella. She's still in school, you know what I mean? So school always first, like I always tell everybody, you know what I mean? I graduated, if my badass can graduate, anybody can graduate school first. So right now she just, you know what I mean? Like on the weekends and all that, we get her in the studio when she got time, you know what I mean? She working. We ain't really got a project so far together for her yet, no project name or nothing, but she got a couple tracks recorded and they fire. Joel O.B., Joel like two years younger than me. Joe, that's, he like, I'm surprised he, I'm surprised he ain't here right now, you feel what I mean? Like, that's my right hand, he always by my side, you know what I'm saying? Um, he been working hard. Joe, I'm real proud of Joe, I'm proud of what Joe has done so far within this year and how much he's grown as an artist. He telling me he trying to drop a little EP or mixtape called Hurricane Jolo. Um, 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 I don't I mean, if that's the name he gonna stick with, then y'all finna have Hurricane Jolo soon too, believe that. Tony Jack, he up in the pen. That's my big brother, you know what I mean? And um, we got the angel up there in heaven, you know what I mean? Cash Money, Kai Dollars. That's my brother. That's 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 basically who I started who I started this Fetty Gang, this whole FGOE thing with, you know what I mean? That's that was the basement days. That was when we was working off a little MacBook and garage band getting to it. That's what got that's what basically got the hood hot, you know what I mean? Me and that man's right there. So that's the team, that's the whole Fetty Gang movement, you know what I mean, as far as artists. Alright. Now uh I know it's like touchy, but like maybe you know, how how did that whole situation with uh with Kai Dollars affect you? Like, I'm sure it was tough. Um I say I cried a lot. I always cry. Gangsters cry. I don't give a fuck what none of y'all say. That's my brother. That man meant the world to me. But I will tell you that losing him made me realize that's the only friend I had. So I didn't really care about building friendships. I care about building an empire now. So my music is what mattered most. Like, I got a girl. I got family. Nothing comes before my music. Cause me and my brother was supposed to be millionaires and have foreigners. So that's just how that's gonna stay. You know what I mean? I'm gonna make sure that when I get my first check, we both got a car. He gonna have his car parked up looking nice and clean every day. Cause I like cleaning cars. So our cars is gonna be nice and clean. And uh, yeah, he always here. He ain't never going nowhere. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. 
guys. So since you know Zanny Phantom is dropping soon, like that's definitely to me is like very anticipated because I, I know I've heard the tr- like a bunch of the tracks. Mm-hmm. I know the shit's gonna be crazy. So can you describe that like the feel that people are gonna get from that in any way? Like, is there any one vibe people are gonna catch, or is it is it versatile? Um, the way I laid out the mixtape, it's like you gotta you. You can choose how you want to vibe to it. Basically, like, first off, you need to roll your backwood. You know what I'm saying? Before you even start playing my shit. And then, um, by the time you get, like, halfway to that backwood and you finish with the Zanny Phantom intro, you're going to be good. It's a, it's a, it's just a vibe. Like, it's just like a wave. Like, it's just, you just got to sit back and smoke and just cool. I'm gonna give you a few songs that's hard as a bitch, and I got a couple club bangers. I I did I do everything. It's not one type of music with me. I make sure that I I hit everything. I I give it to I give a couple songs to the females. I make sure that the hood get their shit. I make sure that you know what I mean. The industry as far as like on a pop level too. I I I got I do everything. You gonna get everything off the Zanny Phantom mixtape. Everybody gonna be surprised because I got songs, I'm singing, I'm doing every I'm doing everything. Everything, man. Everything. Badman team. Boothman teams. Um yeah, I just realized you looked a lot like Red Man with that headband on and your and your chink eyes right now. <laughs> hey. Uh, should I just sit in racial Rachel, uh, Shout out to Red Man. Um, all right, so who else we have? I think that's pretty much it, man. It's pretty much it, man. Everybody go follow me. Know what I'm saying? Instagram, Jado underscore world, J A Y D O S underscore world. Um, that's really the only that's the that's the only social media I know of mine's right now because I'm high. We'll put them in we'll put them in the uh, in the video for you. Oh yeah, they're gonna be in the video. Show them why show them why the, the, the social media is gonna be on the screen. Oh I right, y'all ready for this? The social media will be right here. Cross the face. Cross my face. Alright, thanks for this interview brother. Good looking man. Y'all already know what it is. Y'all stay tuned. Zanny Phantom coming soon, man. My whole gang coming soon, man. Hard work and dedication. That's all I got to say. Y'all gonna see me. I'm gonna be fly as a bitch every time y'all see me. Y'all know how that shit go, man. It's FGOE, X Mastermind World. This how we doing this shit. We coming to y'all hardcore every motherfucking time, dog. For real.